this is Benny Johnson and welcome back. In the last tutorial I actually showed you how to create properties and create IB outlets which I showed you how to connect up to your controls which allowed you to change the properties or attributes of those controls and also know when a button has been pressed and apply that to an action. Now I'm going to show you the same with our other view controller which is our investment view and we're going to do it a lot faster this time because I'm going to show you how Xcode helps you uh, to do this automatically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to the assistant editor and you'll notice that it splits it into two views. We have the the storyboard over here and we have the related header file and assistant editor will try and find the most related file to what you're editing currently so if you add in storyboard it will normally bring up the view controller for that view so what I'm going to do is in order to actually create outlets we could have done you know app property etc etc but we can do it in an easy way to do this, all we have to do is click our control that we want to create an outlet for, hold down control, and then click and drag and drop it in between the at interface and at end. And you'll see this little diagram pop up. Connection, we want an outlet connection, and we're going to give it a name. So I'm going to give it a name of invest text field it's going to be a UI type and it's going to be a strong storage alright so make sure you've got name invest text field the type UI text field and it's going to be storage strong then you click connect and you can see that it just generates the property there simple right well let's do this for our other elements so remember click control drag over to the in between the at interface and at end, drop it and then type the name. I'm going to call this period text field. Alright, and again, it's going to be a UI text field type and it's going to have a storage of strong and make sure you have it as connection as outlet. Click connect. Then I'm going to do the same thing for our labels here. So I'm going to click and drag it over and I'm going to call this interest label and it should be of type UI label outlet and strong and finally I'm going to do this for to return so I'm going to put this as return um, return label and it's going to be a UI type storage strong and it's going to be an outlet so click connect and now we have our four properties as you can see it's much quicker to do it you just control drag your elements create that outlet give it parameters you know the options and there you go Xcode generates the code for you so that's one way of doing it you can also do it the other way I showed you uh, I actually prefer you do the longer way because you'll get a more feel with the syntax etc etc when you begin starting out now if you can remember, we actually created our action for our button. We can do this the same way. So, control, click and drag over, drop it. But this time, the connection is going to be an action. And we're going to give it a name of submit. Right? And the type, again, I want to statically type it. So, I'm going to drop down UI button. And the event is touch up inside. That's what we want to connect up. And the sender connect. Alright, now we've got our elements working. And that's basically about it. So, we've got our outlets. And that's about it for today's tutorial. Oh, I forgot to show you that. You know how we had to synthesize our properties? Well, Xcode has already gone and done that for us. So, simple. And it has also created our function or method there for our implementation. So, that's another easier way to actually create outlets and actions and connections, etc, etc. 
So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and I'll see you guys later.